welcome back to my channel is mo here i decided to come back and do a separate video of like what's in my diaper bag because i realized when i packed my hospital bag in the last video that like her stuff was taking up space in my bag and i'm like that's my bag so i realized that i should probably just put her blankets and her clothes and things that i feel like i'll need in here for her um but also just to get my bag ready because i know when i have her we'll be you know packing it again or just packing it in general to go to the hospital so i mean just to go to her first a doctor doctor's appointment and stuff like that so i decided to do another video due to that situation but um anyways we're gonna go through that i went to walmart and i was supposed to vlog that because i went to go get like snacks and things like that so um after i have the baby or while i'm in labor i can snack on some things and feel okay you know what i mean so i'm just gonna go through the bag that way um and i decided to pack it only because i don't want to be home and then be tired and then having to think like oh snap the doctor's appointment is in another two days or whenever i'm supposed to be back for her i don't want to have to be running around trying to pack at least the bag is together you know what i mean but also it's together for when she goes to the hospital so whew, i'm out of breath y'all excuse the mess there's a lot of stuff going on here but I'm at my parents' house right now, so, because this is where I'm going to be until I go into labor. Um, you already know that. That's the plan. But anyway, on this side, there's nothing in this. This is supposed to be, like, for the bottles, but I think I'm going to put my um, Gatorade on the side so I have something to drink. I'm going to bring my water um, bottle as well, um, my water canteen or whatever. So I have enough water, but I also want some Gatorade just in case. You know what I'm saying? Hand sanitizer is in the front pocket here, just in case. And then I put wipes on the side already. And then this is her blanket. So this is a swaddle blanket, which I just bought this one because it fits. The one that I crocheted or hand knitted for her is too big and too thick. So I don't want to stuff that into the bag. I'm probably just going to have it um, ready for her when we get back in the car and go home. Or just leave it here for her to sleep on and stuff. So I have that in the first pocket here. Her little diaper bags for when we're on the go and we have to change her diaper in the car or wherever. The bags are scented, y'all. Like, they smell... I just thought that was cute. <laughs> Nothing in the first pocket, which... I think I'm gonna put my snacks. So, I've got some goldfish here. Which I'm gonna put those in here. Some cookies. I also have trail mix. So, just in case I feel like... I want that too. Like, they say you can't eat during labor and delivery, but... I feel like you can have, like, little small little snacks. Like a trail mix or something just to get your energy up because you're going through a lot when you're in labor you know what i'm saying i want to make sure i have enough energy so when the time comes for me to push i can and while i was packing this one take everything out so y'all can just see there's a little changing thing in here so that's gonna go i don't have anything in there except for that and then these but um i'm gonna go through the necessities bag again and then go through her outfits that i have for her I'm gonna set this to the side yo come on stay so the baby necessities bag that came with my mommy bag, but since it's just, I just wanted to save room because I do have to put my sandals in there and a pair of shoes or whatever I'm gonna wear. 
that needs I need space. So this is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm switching all of her baby stuff in her baby bag. So this is a blanket and the hair tie from the last video if you guys noticed. But um this is a onesie and this is what we're gonna take her like first little photos in, like as soon as she's born, to let everybody know that she's here. So that's what I'm doing. This is her going home onesie because it's gonna be cold and I realized I didn't have anything for her to wear to go home and it's cold, you know what I'm saying? So, so this is the onesie. It's gonna be cold when she leaves. She's gonna be a winter baby. So I thought, why not a onesie? And she'll probably have like, um, I mean like a sleeper and she might have a onesie under there depending on how cold it is when we leave. Um, and then there's a hat to go with that as well. So there's her little hat. And then this one, I couldn't decide just in case, you know, we want some more photos. <laughs> this is what you'll wear. <laughs> My mom made this, so I don't have to bring it. Um, and then I have a little sleeper, so in the middle of the night, when I have to wake up and change her. Um, that's what she'll be wearing. So I can just lift it up and change her diaper and stuff like that. Um, so I got that. Um, this one, the princess has arrived. Might take a picture in that. So that's why I'm taking it. Y'all, I'm so indecisive. It's not even funny. But I just want options. I want to have options. I and I have long sleeve onesies with the mittens on them so I can cover up her hands. And this is a long sleeve onesie as well, but that doesn't have mittens on it. And then this, she's gonna wear this under something. I think she's. this is the onesie she's gonna wear under her sleeper. And then for her feet, her little mittens, I mean her little booties which I think are so cute. <laughs> and then I have another hat and mittens. So just in case, I don't know how dirty they are gonna get or how dirty anything is gonna get. I just wanna make sure that I'm prepared. And then I have, I know they have diapers, but I bought some anyway. And I only got four in here. So just in case that it's just just in case honestly someone um, mentioned diapers so I'm putting the diapers in here just for my peace of mind and then I have some healing ointment or whatever just in case some extra socks and another pair of mittens these go with the sleeper so she'll have those on and then just two pacifiers they're different but, um, so she just has two options, basically. Um, I really don't want to force the pacifier on her. If she's, if she ain't interested, then she's not interested. And I'm not tripping. That means that she's good and she doesn't need to have something to soothe her. But if she's all right with it, then hey, we got two options. And she can do what she want with it. That's what's in that bag. I have, I mean, that's what's in this, this bag. And then there's another zipper here. And in here, I've got her little um, sound thing. I forgot what it's called. I've been calling it a sound owl because that's basically what it is. <laughs> but this. And then I have another blanket just this is a little bit thicker and then um a burping cloth so just in case i don't know if i'm gonna need it but that's a burping cloth so it's just in case there's a mess or something I have her nose aspirator i forgot to stick this in here but um i think i'm gonna take it out for now just because they have that at the hospital so if they need it then you know they can use the ones they have 
but this is the one that we'll be using from home which i'm gonna this i'm gonna put this in her little diaper caddy to carry that around and then i have this little care kit that's got the little baby nail clippers there's a comb in here for her hair a brush um, some scissors and then these are the little nail clippers. Those are the nail clippers. And then here we've got, I don't know if this is a toothbrush. I think it might be a toothbrush because this is for her, like her first teeth, I guess. <laughs> and then uh, to brush her tongue, a little like silicone brush. So I got those and that all came, this all came in one little pack with the little baggie. And then there's also little mini files in here too. So I can like file her nails down. So I'm just gonna keep that all in here. But this will be in her diaper caddy. This is not gonna go in her bag. Cause I don't think we'll really need it. This is something that we'll be doing at home. You know what I mean? So, but that is my bag. The diaper bag is by Eddie Bauer. So it's a very popular brand I've noticed. It's at Target if you guys are interested. Um, but I just wanted a simple backpack. I'm not trying to walk around with anything too fancy just because of stuff that's going on in the streets these days um all these videos of moms getting their fancy diaper bags snatched and you know what i'm saying i just can't so i'm going with a regular diaper bag something simple it's a backpack that i can just put on and be done um it should be a lot lighter by the time we figure out what we're gonna be bringing and stuff because I really don't want to bring that much stuff. But this is just for the hospital because I know I need her blankets and things for photos and everything like that. But don't forget your snacks, you guys. I think it'll fit in my uh, my mommy bag, so I'll just put my snacks in my mommy bag and then just keep this stuff free. Let's take this on the side. But yeah, so there's lots of room in this diaper bag so far I really do like it it's very simple um, it has the handles to go on the stroller so you don't have to carry it if we're out you know what I mean the little strappies yeah the straps to go on the, the stroller are right here and then we have this to close it but um, I think there's two options, honestly. You can probably hang it like this or hang it like that. But this is the bag. Show you guys on the side. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick video of basically what's in my diaper bag. Super simple. There's nothing much in here right now, only because I'm going to the hospital. This is basically her hospital diaper bag. Um, and then by the time we get our lives together, it'll probably be a lot simpler because I don't know what to bring. I'm such a minimalist, so I'm not gonna be carrying every single freaking thing. I'm just not that person. I'm more of an organized, minimal person. And so this bag will be a lot lighter. Right now it's heavy, but my man's gonna be carrying this. So I got one. But that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for liking the video um did i say that already y'all this brain this mom brain it just ain't it y'all but it's okay i'm gonna get it together but I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, sharing, whatever you're doing because I am so excited for this channel. I'm excited for my new journey of becoming a mother. Um, me and Conrad are ecstatic. 
I can't wait till she comes. Um, and I can't wait to share my labor and delivery vlog. Like, I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can for you guys, because it's coming. We've got a week and a half, and I'm gonna share whatever I can so you guys can know what it's like, how it's, how it's going, how I'm doing, how she is, and everything. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.